Judd Trump retains his World Open title after a dominating display over local legend Ding Junhui. Trump stormed into a 7-2 lead in the afternoon session and Ding had it all to do and he just didn't look like he had it in him to turn the match around. The evening session was more of a competition but the damage was already done as Trump eased to a 10-4 victory to pick up his fifth ranking event win of the season. Commiserations for Ding as he was playing in the evening session of the semi-final in a tough match against Neil Robertson. He also had to deal with Murphy and Vafai in the earlier rounds, so he didn't have it easy at all, and I think that took his toll in the final. Trump has now equaled Steve Davis's 28 ranking event wins as he picks up the £170,000 top prize. As always with Trump, he seemed to just get better as the tournament went on. And when he hit the final, he was in absolutely top form. The ace in the pack is now only £48,000 behind Ronnie O'Sullivan in the rankings. So he's close to overtaking him as we approach the Tour Championship. Ding moved from 9th to 7th on the one-year list after picking up the £73,000 runner-up prize. Zach Surety picked up the tournament's highest break prize, which was £5,000 after he made a 147 against our runner-up, Ding Junhui. The World Snooker Championship is now less than a month away and we have two remaining tournaments. One is an invitational event and one is a ranking event. We have the World Mixed Doubles on the 30th and 31st of March, followed by the Tour Championship on the 1st of April to the 7th of April, live on ITV from Manchester Central. The Tour Championship contains the top 12 players on the one-year list battling it out over the best of 19 frames in every single match. I really like the longer format tournament because I feel like just before the World Championship, it gives a good feeler on how players are playing. Straight after the Tour Championship on the 8th of April is when the World Snooker Championship qualifying starts and the build up to the Crucible really begins. This tournament in Yushan has been absolutely fantastic. The venue looks amazing and we've seen some cracking matches. We now have a five day break on the professional tour before we resume with the World Mixed Doubles. What did you make of the tournament this week? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to like and follow for daily snooker roundups and news. Thanks for watching.